Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about how we can turn on and off LED in different way. Okay, and uh, this is the tutorial about the live view programming. Okay, if you don't know, then go to a uh, YouTube channel and select a playlist and search about live view program tutorials. Okay, now let's start. Now uh, come on the blog diagram and uh, okay, right click here and you see first come to structure and create a while loop. Okay, now create a while loop like this. Okay, first of all, right click here and create a control. Okay, this is the stop button. Increase their size like this. Okay, and increase their size. Control B for bold like this. Now, uh, what do you do? First, right click here and come to numeric and select a function about this. Okay, it's a very important function. Are you already know about this? Okay, now what you do, and this is the X and this is the Y. First, X connect to this terminal, and uh, this is the iteration. I think you already know about it's while loop define the how many times while loop is running. Okay, uh, and uh, if you don't know about and come to question mark and drag your mouse on here, and you see okay, everything detail here. Okay, now and this is why right click and create a constant am and rate 2. If someone is divided 2, then we can easy to create a logic. Okay. Now this is the reminder uh, we are take this one right click and create a indicator okay this is your reminder uh, okay okay now increase the size help with this you can easy to understand what's going on here okay now uh, now what do you do right click here and come to comparison and create a logic about equal connect to here okay i'm uh, choose uh, this option okay okay now the first terminal connect to this terminal okay and second terminal what you do right click and create a constant and it's equal to 1 or 0 if someone is divided by 2 then it's give us some value that is a 0 if it's equal to 0 then our led is turn on okay otherwise off okay now what you do and come to block diagram and uh, okay sorry uh, come to front panel right click here and come to silver okay otherwise you can search control space and i'm enter here led okay select silver like this increase the size like this okay i'm enter here led led increase the size yes control b okay okay now what we do now you need to connect your LED to this output of terminal like this okay now all done let's clean up your diagram okay now yes okay now you see it's looking nice yes <clears throat> now uh, control E uh, okay yes control E and let's select all drag here okay now let's uh, first very important you need to uh, take a deal here right click come to timing and you see this is a weight and select here okay and create a constant I am enter here like uh, 200 millisecond okay this is the millisecond okay now let's click to run and you see on off on off zero 
if this uh, reminder gives the zero then LED is off if one then LED on you see it's automatic on and off okay if you are like if you need to uh, increase the time like uh, it's blink very fast okay then what you do uh, turn off and I'm entry like 100 okay now click to run and you see it's fast okay now click to stop and I'm entry like uh, 1000 1000 means one second okay now click and you see after one second on off you see okay this is the first method now let's come on the second method okay stop this function okay now let's modify this program uh, okay now first of all I delete all function here like this I'm delete this one okay not need this one only we need LED okay okay I need only LED okay I'm gonna press control B okay now what do you do well uh, first of all we need a feedback control space enter feedback node enter here drag here okay now control space and enter not get okay not get I think you already know what the not get not get is what's doing if you are giving a value like a false then the output is true if the value is true then output is false okay like zero if you enter a zero then give a value like I'm entry zero it's give one okay if I'm entry one and it's give zero like this okay you already know about this okay now what do you do by default it is give the zero value okay that's why what you do first I connect to this terminal okay and the second one I directly connect to the our LED and this first terminal we connect to this one okay now uh, let's clean up the diagram okay increase the size for learning method okay now you see now right click and create a visible label feedback node this is the node gate okay and uh, let's okay let's clean up the diagram yes okay now all done let's press ctrl e sorry yes press ctrl e okay again select and drag here okay now let's what you do you see right now our program is very uh, like simple okay and it's only we need or three terminal or we can say two terminal only okay now click to run and you see it's blink but right now it's very fast you need to right click and come to timing and you need to wait a millisecond and right click create a constant I'm entering here again 200 okay and the second other method is you uh, if you need to change the speed then right click and create a control okay this is the best method for control the speed of your LED and click to replace and uh, okay now come to numeric and choose uh, this knob also okay help of this one easy to control I'm entering like a 1000 okay maximum is the 1000 and minimum is a 0 and I'm entering like a minimum is 50 okay okay now increase the size okay millisecond to wait okay now first right now uh, this is a 50 okay now I'm click to run and you see okay when I increase the size or sorry when I increase the millisecond like you see the speed of LED is slow okay yeah you see if I am uh, nearby uh, 500 millisecond now you see if I nearby 1000 and you see after one second it's on and off okay you can easy to uh, like uh, control a speed also in the 50 it's very high speed okay you can easy to do in the different method okay and thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys